how are you? I've had a color combo in my mind for a while. So I want to mix it up. Now, you know that for tinted um, pillow paints, I use Sherwin-Williams color to go. Normally, I use the purple label, which is the ultra deep base. And this is for my dark colors, um, like tricorn black and anchors away. You can see the ultra deep base is, has less titanium or whatever they use to lighten it. Now, when you want a pastel color, they usually, for Sherwin Williams, make it mix it in the deep base, which is this blue label. When you have them mix a pastel color, it actually comes out very thick. For whatever reason, whatever they use in the paints to make it light and pastel, I'm guessing like titanium white, it makes it really, really thick and really hard to blow out. Getting a can that's not tinted, this paint is actually quite thin. It's a little too thin even to bloom with. So I figured why not try, and I don't, I'm not really suggesting this yet because I know, I think I've tried before tinting my own pillows. It will take a lot of paint, but the color that I want is a really light blue. So I'm curious to see how much of this do I have to add to this to make a light blue. I don't want to waste a whole tube doing it and that's probably what will happen. Um, but let's get into it anyways, right? So my vision is a light blue pillow with delicate, hmm, should I do like my watercolor blooms? People really, well, I really liked it. I shouldn't say people, some people really liked it. Why don't I do that? And do you know what I really like? Um, the Watco that I use for my watercolor, oh, sorry, <sighs> blooms. Now, as I said, you could, I, you can get this in Canada at Home Depot. There's only like a few places in the States that you can get it, but it dries so shiny and nice. Um, I really like it. It's just such a shame that it's too thin for pigments for a regular blue. Um, but maybe if I continue my watercolor blooms. So in terms of the watercolor blooms that I did a few videos ago, half of them dried okay, and then the other half kind of melted, which is what I expected. So I think if I'm gonna do it again, I will maybe make my cell activator um, the same consistency as my paints a little bit, because I really made it very thin and it could sink. So maybe we'll play with that today. I didn't even tell you my colors yet. So I think I will mix with the Waco. Um, we're going browns and taupes and golds over a light blue pillow. Let's see if I can get the pillow first, then we'll mix the paints. Be right back. All right, let's open her up. Ooh, so this is, because I don't have a mix. This has been sitting probably for quite a while, like years. So I'm gonna get a little thick mixing stick. They're pretty easy to mix. Now, I know I'm being like rough. You might wanna not like pump so much air into it, but these don't have too many air bubbles. So I'm not that worried. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's still like pretty thin. So how much do you think I'm gonna have to add? Remember, I just want a light blue. So I'll start with that. Oh, maybe it was too much. <laughs> no, it can't be. You know what? That wasn't like too horrible, was it? Hmm. I think I tried tinting once, like a very long time ago, um, the Glidden Premium. Huh, this is not too bad. And I didn't, I really, there you go. All right. So this is though, if you want a light color, remember this has titanium in it. So if you wanted a deep color, I would do the deep, base, even though it is still a little white. So I don't know how much you would have to add. But this is kind of what I was going for. And I really did not add that much. So I'm pretty pleased. 
with myself. So now we can get on to mixing the colors. I wanted this like baby blue. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, so the colors we're gonna do today are, let's start with the piggies. We have TLP Cappuccino, a gorgeous deep brown. We have TLP Glisten, which is kind of like a blue to green, like a little purple, I don't know, situation. Okay, and now I just started going nuts because I'm adding green. Um, TLP Emerald. Okay, now remember many moons ago, I did this whole brown video and I got a bunch of browns. I remember there was a Van Dyke brown that I liked, but I don't remember um, who made it or where it is. So we're gonna use this sepia, sepia brown. Hopefully it's not too ugly. Um, we're gonna use this Titan Buff Deep Old Holland, okay? And in my last video, when I was trying to make a gold, um, I made this color, which we didn't like, which I lightened up, but this, color is um, golden diorite yellow with iridescent pearl from Triart, okay? Now, this is too deep for this, but I want a lemon yellow, a butter yellow, so I'm just gonna add titanium white to it. I don't care about the iridescent, so, because the white will make it less iridescent, but I'm not really interested in that, doesn't matter. So let, why don't we just start with that? I just want a little bit so I want this like bright, sunny yellow color. And I think I'm gonna go Watco today. Make another Watco painting. And I'm gonna add some white to it. Now I'm not gonna make my colors as thin, I don't think. Let's see what happens. As um, my, my watercolor painting, I'm gonna make them a little thicker. Who knows, right? It's fun to play around. So yeah, by the way, the Watco does look pink, but it dries so clear and glossy. Oh, I think I need a little bit more yellow in here. So that is my um, vision for this. We'll do like, once we're done, we'll do a swatch test to see. What do we think? This is actually quite thick. This is like my normal thick one. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't add any Josanya yet. But look at that. You know what? And maybe with the Watco, if I want a regular blue with it, I just wouldn't add Josanya because you don't really need the Josanya. It makes a nice gloss for sure. And it can help maybe a bit of the cells, but it's not super necessary. And the Watco dries so glossy, you know? All right, I don't know. I guess I'm doing regular bloom colors. I mean, bloom thicknesses. We'll see. Uh, hmm. All right, let's just keep mixing at this point, right? Okay, so I'm doing one, two, three, four, five. And as usual, we lay them out. Let's do the piggies first, right? And then the two tubies. So for the piggies, I am going bloop, bloop, and a bloop, right? Take my cappuccino. This one's new, I believe. So I'm opening it the way it is. Be very careful, look how pretty though. I know you guys can't super see the sparkle in this light, but I'll show you soon. So I suppose this will be the mixing video. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm breaking up my mixing videos with the actual painting videos. Cause sometimes my mixing videos are long, but I figured like, I don't know, I get so many questions about how I mix things up. And so I figured, you know, I would do that. And also since I can't, 
produce as many videos while I'm still injured, you know what I mean? I figured you guys would wanna say hello to me because I miss you guys. <laughs> All right, let's do Glisten. Now, on my last video, somebody commented they don't like when Mo joins the videos with me. Now, I totally get it. Oh, that Glisten, there's such a beautiful blue. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm working, I'm doing these videos, I shouldn't call it work. Uh, I'm doing these videos from home and sometimes Mo's at home. And if I had to choose between hanging out with Mo and doing a video, I would choose hanging out with Mo. You know what I mean? So I kind of get the best, obviously, it's more, it's less hectic when he's not in the video, but if he's homesick or if it's a holiday and I have to do a video or I feel like doing a video, that's just what it's going to be. You know what I mean? So uh, that is something that will never change. Cause for me, these videos, if you notice, you know, I don't, I go with the flow with them. I don't put too much editing. Um, I just, it's just kind of like who I am, my life in the moment and what's going on. And I know my style isn't for everybody, but I, I do these videos because for me, they're fun. You know what I mean? And once they become not fun, I'm not going to do them anymore. So that's my goal to make this less of a job and more of like what inspires me, you know? So if that's Mo coming down and talking about garbage, sewage, or whatever he talks about, then that's what it's gotta be. Okay, let's fill these up first. You know what? I might have to go get my next can of paint. Do you think I have enough for two? I don't know, let's see. Oh, no, I'm gonna, we only have enough for one. Good thing I have another paint. All right, let me mix with the piggies first, and then I'm gonna go, okay. Oh, my second comment, I get so many, I really do get so many amazing comments from you guys. There's a few here and there that, uh, you know, whatever. But another thing that's mentioned is the way that I speak, or, I mean, one funny one is someone said I say bloop too much, which I thought was funny. Um, <clears throat> but my intonations, like going up like that, or even saying, you know, like that, or things like that. That for me also is kind of cultural and um, somewhat Canadian, kind of where I'm from, uh, and also how I grew up as well. And if I had to, now don't get me wrong, <laughs> So I used to do a lot of TV stuff. <clears throat> I used to even have a, vo a voice coach. But for me, again, if I have to start thinking about how I'm speaking while I'm doing these videos, A, it would be so dull for me. <laughs> also, like, I just, you know, I just, I just need to be myself. So, you know, it's all a personal thing. Everyone has their triggers, um, but, I just gotta be me. So deal with it. Just kidding. Uh, you can mute me if you want. I don't mind. Or fast forward. That's what the fast forward function's for. Okay. Look, you know what? I really like what's going on here. Let me go get the other can of Watco um, to mix up the tubies and then we'll see what's up. Be right back. Okay. Got my brand new can of Watco. It is a really nice. I don't know what to even compare it to. Um, I don't, cause I don't know if any of the, the other house paints are shiny, but don't quote me, they could be. Um, now I don't know about this, the yellow I made yet. It looks a little too warm. You know what I mean? For these colors. Okay, so, well, let's look at the buff, see what happens. Then we'll kind of add I'm, I really enjoyed old, old Holland paints, by the way. And supposedly, it's the oldest paint brand 
in the world. So they say. So let's mixy mixy that. Then we'll do the sepia. Sepia? Why don't I? I think it's sepia, but. All right, and then we're gonna figure out, do I need a gold? Probably. Just so happens that I have mixed up for my last video. Cause I haven't done, so my last video I mixed up colors cause I'm doing a collab for um, Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> and I'm doing a yellow big road inspired. So I mixed up a bunch of golds. Um, yeah, this is okay. So it is very like taupe, like light beige. Mm, we'll see. So I do have some 24 karat gold extra mixed up. So maybe we'll add that. If you remember, it was this, the Extreme Machine. And I'll put more in. All right, let's see the sepia. Sepia. <laughs> All right. This also is Old Holland, by the way, but it's a big can thing, canister. All right. Um, this much? Let's see. So when I'm using these browns, um, these TLPs, I do, because they're a uh, bigger granule of pigment. So the browns also, I find this happens with like the dark blues, like um, Payne's Gray, Nebula, all that. When they break over a white pillow, you can see the granules because they're thicker. So I like to put a dark color underneath so you don't see the granules as much. Okay, it's nice. <clears throat> this is more of what my regular bloom consistency is. So now I have to also figure out what consistency am I going for. I do really enjoy the watercolor vibe. So let's see, I know the piggies are gonna be thin because remember, yeah, because the watchco is thin and there's not much thickening the piggies, the piggies are gonna be thin. Whereas the two paints, although that's pretty thin, the two paints are thicker. So I might add some Joe Sonia to thin them out a bit to make them a little more even. Then let's talk about what we're actually doing color wise, cause this is kind of, these two might be too similar. Um, I don't mind a little bit of yellow though, to be honest. Also remember they are both, no, they are not. So this one is opaque. This one isn't really opaque because it just looks opaque, but I added the zinc white to it to lighten it up, which is semi, or is it transparent? Transparent. You can tell by the way, most of these have signs. So when you see an empty square like this, that means transparent. Um, something like this on the old Holland, I think there's on the back. Where did they put it? Um, hmm, hmm. This one, I guess they don't put it on here. But you can see they actually put a swatch, but. Okay, let's talk, oh, let me. So for the 24 karat gold, I, I was saying I rarely use it anymore, but you do, I have to add a lot um, to get the color that I want, because I love that shine. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's put more of this in here. So, let's talk about what we're doing. Or should I do a swatch test, or where are we at right now? Do we need, you know what would look pretty actually? Ooh, maybe I need one more color. Um, the Holbein um, Cypress Green that I used in the watercolor. Okay, let me mix this up. So that means I'll have one, two, th one, two, three, four two Bs, five two Bs, three piggies, and one. I wouldn't. I guess I would classify this a bit like a piggy, like it has a bit of filler in it, um, I'm guessing. So it has a bit more filler than the piggies, but maybe not even really filler because it's pretty sparkly. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> I really, really enjoy that color a lot. 
Now, I shouldn't go crazy, but I also just grabbed the shadow. No. Now you know I love also shadow green by Holbein. Holbein? Holbein. Okay, we are doing shadow, I mean, we're doing cypress green. It's this like really pretty aqua-ish color. I think it will go nice with this. Then I'll have to figure out what I'm actually doing, right? Okay. All right, this is a little squeezy wheezy. I'm gonna have to get more of this. And then we'll do a little chest. You know? So I think I'm gonna put, post this video in two parts uh, because I should probably take it easy. So look at this. And it really goes well with the greens here. And you know what? Do you, I don't even have to add Josonia, do I? Maybe just a little bit, but look at this nice consistency. Okay, so that's why Wapco is great for tubes because you hardly need any Josonia. I mean, again, depending on what you're going for, but. Okay, are you ready? Let's do, I know it looks hectic here. Let's do a little swatchy, swatchy watchy. So after this video, see, I have so many videos planned. Cause, you know, I've been like laying in bed for the most part, planning all my videos. So my next, next video after this video, I'm gonna be comparing cell activators. People are loving, and I don't think I've tried them yet. People are loving the Triart cell activators. I have titanium white paints gray, and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with Amsterdam white and paints gray. Won't that be exciting? And I already, and you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm gonna use some of my really super old color combos, like when I just first started. I've said that before, because I was like crazy, because I didn't, um, pay attention to any colors or anything. And I just use like crazy colors. I'm just kind of doing this to get an idea. Okay. I'm actually the most surprised that my pillow worked. Okay. We're not gonna, okay. So I'm just, you know of doing our thing this way we don't really know um i don't want to drip okay why not uh okay You know what? This is looking kind of fun. Not my normal situation. You know? What am I missing? This. But. Kind of fun, right? I think I got them all. Okay, I'm going to go show you in... Um, the warm light, so you get a better idea. Uh, I don't know. Let's go look at it in the warm light and see what we think. Could be kind of fun, right? Is the is the brown too brown? Mm. Sometimes it's hard to tell with layering, right? Okay. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this quickie little video. Tell me what you think of these colors uh, and actually comment like what I should change, if I should change anything. Um, and I love you guys. See you later. Bye. This is so pretty. It kind of looks like a landscape. Let's like, you know, stretch it out. Mm, I might need more paints, but. I just thought it'd be fun, why not try to make something pretty, right? I love that shimmer over the cypress green. It's really nice.
I feel, I feel like if you just put sparkle on anything, no matter what, it'll look pretty. At least, and this paint is stretching nicely, right? You can start to see the corner where it's flocculating here. That's what we want to avoid. Also, this pillow isn't the best because it doesn't have all the fillers. Sometimes the edges do just kind of run. Okay, let's just get this final corner off and we'll see what we got, right? Okay, there we go. Pretty colors. Yeah, that's just epic, that the shimmer over the cypress green, we love it. I'm gonna take it for a little spin. I have my little spinner down here. And then I'm gonna show you a close-up again in the light. Okay, that's it for real. Okay, I'll see you guys next time, bye.